When it comes to shape layers, more specifically rounded rectangles, there's one aspect that can be really frustrating and that is when you want to scale up the layer from one of the corners or edges. When you create a new rounded rectangle, if I just add one here into the middle, let's just go down and add some roundness. Let's just bring that up to around there. Yeah, that's fine. So when you create a new rounded rectangle, you can change the size in the properties just here in the same drop down we were just in. So size, and it will scale from the center. It doesn't matter where you move the anchor point, it will always scale from the center. And it can be really annoying if you want it to wipe from left to right or top to bottom or anywhere but the center. And many people, including myself, will resort to either getting rid of the roundness or using the standard scale. And if I would turn off the proportional constraint, we will see that the roundness gets distorted and isn't kept as round as we had it before. It's more of a squash than a scale. And what we want to do is keep that rounded edge nice and proportional during that scale or the wipe. So we can do this by creating a very simple expression. So I'm just going to undo all of this just to go back to our original rounded rectangle. And if we go down to our transform rectangle one, not this transform here, we want the transform underneath our rectangle one. So if we open this up and we want the anchor point. If we hold Alt or Option and click on the stopwatch next to it to open up our expression box, this is where we're gonna put our expression. So if we start by typing W equals, and using this pick whip, we're gonna click and hold and drag to our size. And at the very end, we're gonna do an open bracket, zero. And we want a semicolon on the end. New line, H equals, and then pick whip to that same size here. Open bracket, and this time we want a one. At the end, semicolon. New line, square bracket, W, slash or divided by two, comma, H divided by two as well. And this will put the anchor point in the bottom right. If I click on the layer, we will see the anchor point is now in the bottom right. I'm just going to recenter this. It will move about when you move the anchor point, but you can always reposition it to where you had it originally. And now if we go to our size, you'll see that it scales from that bottom corner where the anchor point is. If I turn off the proportional constraint, you will see that it can scale without the roundness being affected. So we can either do one at a time or we can do both and the roundness will never be affected. All we have to do to change where this anchor point is, is change this expression slightly. At the moment it is the bottom right and that is because both these are positive. And if you think about it is in the top left is negative or minus and the bottom right corner is plus or positive. If we were to change the width to a minus or negative two and click off, go to our layer and you'll see that this anchor point is now on the bottom left. If I added a minus or negative to the height, click off, it is now in the top left because both are minus. Remember in top left is minus, bottom right is plus. So if I was to get rid of that first minus, it should go to the top right and there it is there. And now it will scale from that position. And it's as simple as that. I will include the four expressions you will need in the description below. You can write it yourself. As you saw, it is very quick and easy to do, but I will include them just in case you forget how it's done or if you just want something really quick, you can just copy and paste them straight into your anchor point expression box. If you found this at all useful, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.